Okay, hello everyone. I'm Antonio Salinas and I'll be your instructor for the class entitled From Spear to Gunpower, Warfare from Ancient Greece and Napoleon. I'm really excited to be here, so uh, let's get started with this uh, intro. Uh, first, a little about me. I grew up in Michigan. I just did about five years in the Marine Corps. After that, I joined uh, Army ROTC. I did my uh, undergrad in history and political science, and I got a master's in history uh, from Eastern Michigan University. Then I commissioned as an infantry officer. I uh, fought in Afghanistan and uh, served in Iraq. Uh, after that, I became a uh, counter intel officer, then a basic uh, intel intelligence officer. And uh, the Army gave me a great opportunity, and I got to teach at West Point uh, for about four years. I taught military history there and uh, European history as well. Uh, after that, Army sent me back to grad school. I studied Russia for a while, and now I'm currently at the um, Defense Intelligence Agency, uh, where I serve now. <clears throat> so let's talk about this course, From Spear to Gunpower. Uh, first talk, we'll talk about strategy, or what it takes to win war and win battles. Uh, we'll look at bit how armies move, what you talk operations, and then tactics, right? What actually happened when the enemies met on the field of battle. Uh, next, we'll look at weapons, right? What did they use, right? Was it spears? Uh, their shields, you know, how big were they? Were they small? Were they massive? Um, how big were their swords? And did that have an impact to victory or not? We'll look at different generals. Um, you know, was it them that made the, the factor for victory? Or was it just chance? We'll have to kind of look at it. And then finally, we'll look at culture. Sometimes nation states or kingdoms or countries don't always fight in the most effective way, but they fight in ways uh, which makes sense to their culture of values. All right, so the first uh, culture we're going to study is uh, ancient Greece and Macedon. We'll look at things like the hoplites, uh, the phalanx, and the people they fought, right? The Persians who had an empire that spanned from Turkey to, to India, right? How did this huge empire uh, lose to the Greeks and later the Macedonians over and over again? Uh, for generals, we'll look at people like Miltiades, at Marathon, at Leonidas, and then finally, Alexander the Great. Uh, we'll look at a couple battles, uh, Marathon, Thermopylae, and then briefly, uh, Alexander's battles, of Isis, Granicus, and then later, Guagamela. Next culture we'll look at are the Romans, uh, the Roman, Roman way of war, my favorite. We'll look at the Roman legions, and then some other adversaries, like the Celts, the Carthaginians, uh, or the Germanics. For generals here, we'll look at uh, Hannibal, uh, Varro, and Julius Caesar. We look at various Punic War battles, right? The Romans keep having the horrible, horrible disasters, but they keep coming back, uh, such as can I. And then finally, uh, Caesar's conquest of Gaul, or modern day France, in um, the battles of Gregovia, and then the famous Battle of Alasia, where they wrecked these 22 miles of walls. Uh, pretty impressive stuff. Then we're going to hit fast forward in history and end up in medieval warfare. Uh, we'll look at knights, archers, and castles. Uh, we'll study like William the Conqueror, uh, Henry V, and then some battles like, uh, for example, the Battle of Hastings and Agincourt. And then for our last lesson, uh, we're going to have fast forward again in history, and we're going to have guns and cannons uh, all of a sudden. Uh, so we'll look at muskets and cannon warfare, uh, Frederick the Great, Napoleon, and big battles like Austerlitz and Waterloo. Uh, so throughout this entire class, uh, we're I want you to give you the tools to look at a battle and say these three things. Was it conduct? Was it something a commander did or did not do? Uh, was it equipment? Right? Did the blue side have better stuff, or right? swords or weapons? Oh, or was it chance? Right? Did someone just um, get lucky, uh, which happens sometimes? In all, I think this class in all military history is really important. I kind of look at uh, military history for a military officer or for a citizen or anyone, it's kind of like your cadaver, right? To explain the, the world, uh, at least in the military sense, right? You can, you can cut it open and ask, you know, why did this general do this? Why did General Blue go right when he should have went left? Uh, so I want to argue with those three things uh, quite briefly. So I look forward to seeing all of you in class. And uh, yeah, it should be a great time. Take care.